Hey Leo, welcome back to Brandy's 29 Tarot. It's for September 2019. Love, life, money. So I've got some of your cards laid out here. However, it looks like you're healing from something you've just separated from or you're going to separate from. <clears throat> because we have healing, number eight, which is like, I want to say Virgo. I'm not sure. And then separation. Okay, I fell under that. You're healing, I think, maybe from a breakup, because we have Hex. Uh, you realize this person uh, wasn't good for you. This is a relationship in, okay? And you had to release yourself from them, <clears throat> because you know you deserve love. And this person wasn't giving it to you, so you surrendered. You tried to hang on to that for a very long time. You tried to guard it. Uh, we have the surrender card that is releasing things and no longer hanging on to them that are not for your highest good okay you are realizing this person was very bad for you they enraged you um they pushed your buttons they made you lash out that's what i'm picking up here and you want to know part of that but you felt like you were very tied to this person and you try to protect that connection, but you realize it was a false connection. You can no longer trust that connection. You are not reconciling with them. That's in the reverse. You no longer trust them. They push too many buttons. You know, you used to be friends and you're not. There's no abundance there. And you felt that. You may have hung on for way too long and now you're coming in to knowing that there is a solution for every issue. There's new love out there. There's 8 billion people in this world and we are no longer limited to just our region. That's technology, isn't it beautiful? I've met some pretty amazing people through technology. Amazing. They helped me on my journey, helped me experience new experiences, open my mind to things. Other end, life and business. I'll go over it all and then I'll do the general. You are definitely releasing uh, a job or people. They're not good for you. It is not a trustworthy connection, not a trustworthy uh, partnership, uh, contract, job. These people are sucking you, Leo, of your energy, not bringing you to your highest good. So you are going to take what you know and your ability and your skill and you're going to surrender that to the universe and you're going to look for a new job because you know there is one out there okay and you deserve it you are separating yourself from these people in this position you're hanging on to what you got you might have a little nest egg going on but whatever that you put your your energy into and stuff is going to bring you uh, fruits fruits of your labor this could have already happened because I have eight here. It could have been uh, May through August that you've been <clears throat> working on this. Okay. I'm trying to give you timelines here. But that's coming to an end because you really are surrendering it. You are figuring solutions out for your issues. And that's it. So this is people, places, relationships. Point blank, Leo. This is Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, September 2019. Lovely fire. Okay. Uh, you cannot, you cannot go give yourself, I know Leo's like they put on a front, but they're super intense with their emotions. So if someone is bringing out in any situation the worst of you, it's time to go. It's time to separate yourself from these people. You deserve better. Okay. Because you put out good energy, you get good energy. You know, uh, you can't have a crappy mind frame. That being said, you've already discovered who the enemy was. Because you sat, you were quiet. If you haven't done that yet, you need to do that. Because they are pushing your buttons. I think you already know who they are, though. They're pushing your buttons. Could be someone you work for. Could be that love interest. Yeah, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is that? Hmm. 
been very flexible around the situation. Just trying to get yourself out of it. But you definitely have to separate yourself. No matter what the situation. You've got to separate. And this could be a cross watcher. Damn it. I hate that. <laughs> I hate when they go everywhere. So we have three of pentacles, two of swords, and mother of pentacles, which is queen. The queen and the uh, page, page of swords. So you or they are definitely spying. They're spying, trying to gain more information. You know, they're trying to see, like, what are you doing? Are you trying to work with other people? Um, are you dating anyone else? Type of energy. Definitely stalkerish. And you realize that you are doing way better without this person, without this job. Or you will. Because you've made the decision to create something different. To search for something more. To go on a journey. Creation. You know, uh, uh, setting the real foundations. Because you've gained the enlightenment of what you need to do. You see how these swords are going up here? That's the sun in between the swords. You know, making a point blank decision and you're doing it. <sighs> really, I learned to be better. Okay, Leo, Leo. The sun will rise rising on Venus. September 2019. They are releasing, figuring out the solution, making real choices, okay? Daughter of Wands, Page of Wands. It's a small offer, you know, creative, spiritual, passionate. It's got the infinity symbol. There's growth here on the wand. You know, it is a small step in your new direction. A new project you're going to work on. The Knight of Pentacles, Son of Pentacles. Keeping your head down. You know, focusing. Knowing that things worth anything actually take time. It's just in the beginning phases after you've cut this person out. The Two of Wands, deciding. You got two, 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 two. So you're definitely making real decisions here of who you need to cut out, where your focus needs to be, what you're passionate about, stepping out of conflict with the five, which five is change. You don't want to be in conflict anymore with this person. It's going to, it's a loss. It's a five of cups, but they were a conflicting loss. The job, the person, the relationship, they caused conflict. They always made you sad. They never made you feel like you were loved. Mother of Wands, which is Queen of Wands. Stepping into your firepower. Protecting what is yours. Again, that's backed up with the protecting treasure. She's guarding eggs. She's guarding new life. She's guarding new beginnings. She's guarding her creation. Her, you know, I wanted to say womb. Someone out there could be pregnant by someone that you just had to go from. Because that popped in my head. But this is standing in your power. Realizing who you are. Realizing what you need to do. This is definitely someone uh, you've been with for a while. Or they keep trying to return. They were sneaky people. Always lying. Manipulating. with the job. So I say... You put a lot of work into this with the Seven of Pentacles, but realize there's no growth. There's no growth in this job, no growth in this person, no growth in the relationship. Um, you put a lot of time and effort into that for them to step on you. But like I said again, the bird card here, you are stepping into your power, being able to see the forest through the trees. You got the sun backing you up, standing tall and proud. Ugh. With the Mother of Swords, which is the Queen of Swords. Uh, she is the only one in the deck that is not married. Even though there is a King of Swords. Uh, 
she's not married. She's like the widow, the single lady. Uh, she gets shit done. She uses her mind. Uh, she communicates well of what she wants. And she makes a clear cut path to go to that. Alright. One more card for Leo in this situation. Ah, you're heading to your Ten of Cups, my love. You see all that intricate webbing of the Ten of Cups? It's not water pouring out. It's like you weaving. You weaving your colors of life. You know? Weaving something sturdy. Planting. Sewing. Which is going to bring you to your fulfillment here. So, uh, you deserve love. You deserve new. You don't deserve conflict. Um, I'm sure keep, you're definitely walking away at the bottom of there is There is no cup to fill. They're all broken. There is no reconciliation. There is no trust. There is no growth at this job, in this relationship. You just need to heal yourself and separate yourself from those people. Because you deserve better. And you know there's a solution. And you know that. So you're trying to make a clear cut choice and solution and a clear path for yourself. And no longer hanging on to it. You're surrendering it. Because they, they pushed your buttons. They were bad for you. They were a frenemy, an enemy. Leo. Give me one more about this, please, Leo. Summarizing and being this Leo. Being compassionate for self. It would come in the reverse. I say self because this says for others. Learn to be compassionate for yourself before you can give to other people and letting change play its creative role in your life. You are, you know, reforming yourself. Her, her face is like reforming itself. Letting things take its time. You're letting things shape themselves, what you're trying to create here. It's, it's art. Rebuilding yourself, rebuilding your gifts, getting rid of who was causing you conflict and drama. No more of that crap. You're setting boundaries. Separating. Using your intuition. <coughs> Alright. Okay, get a spirit postcard. <coughs> Sorry about that. I've been kind of poppy. <coughs> Allergy, I don't know. Leo, what do you got to add, Spirit? What do you got to add for my Leo? Um, you can comment, subscribe. There's a little subscribe button there. Uh, share, you can book a personal with me. Uh, get a little more insight about your career or your love life. Whatever your choice. Uh, you can go to my Facebook and check out my reviews. People are blown away when I tap into your personal energy. It starts at $15 for a spread like this, okay? And it goes to $35 for, like, relation. Dearest you, everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order. And we are always in awe of this. For you, though, on your human journey, things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter. Whether it be too many stories in your mind, too many what-ifs, or fearful thoughts of the past or future, instead focus on the now. Empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any object that tells you in an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have, sort, purge, clear, and organize. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Because you deserve love. That's what they say, I'm telling you, mad in that part. Spirit loves a vacuum <laughs> as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us in spirit free of distractions. This is the first time I ever pulled this card that I can remember. And this just backs up everything I said. You know this person, this place, this everything is not good for you and you're separating yourself from it. And you're going to take my advice. <laughs> That's for someone definitely out there. Let me know, okay? Please let me know. I do I do want to help you guys. And I, I do like to give guidance. I'll catch you again.